Hello everyone. I am here again with a new topic. Today we will study formulation of research problem. So if you haven't seen the video on research problem yet, then I recommend you to check that first. Okay. There you will get the notes of definition and identification of research problem. I will share the link here and in the description box too. So yeah. Let's start today's topic, which is formulation of research statement. Before that, you all know what I'm going to say, right? Like, comment, share and subscribe, please. Okay, so formulation of research problem. Basically, it is an, you know, an easy word if you want to say, then it is a basically, it is the recipe of making a you know very good research problem making an a grade research problem okay it's basically the re recipe of how you will make a research problem basically an easy word if you want to understand formulation means you know the steps the recipe okay the formulation of research problem is complex and long process the following steps are okay so there are five steps all total okay the first one selection of research areas the second one reviewing the literature and theories the third one delimiting the research topic the fourth one evaluating the research problem and the five one fifth one is formulating final statement of research problem now let's understand this one by one okay Hmm. So, the first one is selection of a research area. Hmm. Formulation of a research problem begins with selection of a research topic from personal experience, literature, previous theories in which researcher is interested and has significance for nursing profession. So, obviously, the very first thing you have to do is selecting a research problem you want to solve, right? Then where you will find it through your personal experience or any literature or theories you want to develop, which is important, you know, uh, in improving our nursing practices. Okay, we will always make sure that our research is doing an improvement, you know, in our nursing practices in our profession. So, yeah, an example for an example. A researcher gets an idea to conduct a study on knowledge regarding congenital anomalies of newly married couples. Okay, so we select a problem here that is, you know, assessing knowledge um, of newly married couples regarding congenital anomalies. This is our problem. So this is what selection of a research area is. I hope it's clear. Okay, so the next step is reviewing literature and theories. Okay, so after getting an idea for research, he or she needs to review the nursing literature and theories. Review of nursing theories provides an opportunity for nurse researcher to plan a research problem to contribute towards either testing or development of a theory. Now let's understand this. After you decided, okay, after you decided what your problem is, what, what, you know, what you want to solve, then the next obvious thing you will do is, is you know, uh, you will see the theories are saying about that particular problem. You will see the theories, what they are saying, what they are explaining. By doing so, you can develop the theory by your current information you will provide in your research, okay? You will develop that theory. So, yeah, I hope that's clear. So at first you will select a problem, then you will review the literature and theories about that particular problem so that you can make an improvement, make an, you know, make an change, any change. Sorry for the long pause. <laughs> okay, so the third one is delimiting the research topic. Here, researcher proceeds from a general area of interest to more specific topic of research to conduct a study. Now, what does that mean? Okay, so delimiting means to establish boundaries. 
so here it means you select your area of interest then you become more specific you limit your study to a specific problem for example a study to assess the effect of planned teaching of knowledge in relation to congenital anomalies to newly married couples in selected community of your choiceable city okay so we already you know selected that we want to do a research on congenital anomalies uh, right to the newly married couples we will you will assess the knowledge of the newly married couples so congenital anomalies is a huge topic itself right so here i will stick to a specific problem which is assessing knowledge before and after giving education about congenital anomalies to newly married couples in you know in your choiceable um, city you can select in, in selected communities of your choiceable city basically so yeah after you know you will you will be more specific here okay i hope the third point is clear now let's move to the fourth point evaluating the research problem once researcher is clear about the specific research problem next the research problem must be carefully evaluated for its significance researchability and feasibility so now that i decided i want to do a study on newly married couples about congenital anomalies i will evaluate whether my research will do any betterment in my profession will it be easy will i be successful so you know i will find the answers of all you know all these inquiries right then if the answers are positive you know then only i will continue i hope the fourth point is clear so the fifth and last one is formulating final statement of research problem after establishing the significance researchability and feasibility the researcher then finally formulates a final statement of a research problem okay so after all the process we will finalize our statement now you can present your statement in two ways a statement could be in declarative and interrogative format i'm sure you all know this terms declarative and interrogative format let's see that one by one declarative format research problem is stated in declarative statement for example a descriptive study on prevalence of bed sores among unconscious patients admitted in intensive care unit of you know you, you can put put your choiceable hospital or city name okay here we are basically declaring our problem so this is called declarative format it doesn't need much explanation i guess okay so now interrogative format so research problem is stated in question form easy right for example what is the effect of ginger on morning sickness on pregnant women in selected urban communities of your you can put your selected area right choiceable preferable area okay so all five points are completed hopefully you all like it you know you can write all this answers in, um, you know this answer in your examination in this format but uh, always try to make this notes more you know attractive by adding more points so i will come tomorrow with a new topic so again i'm reminding you all like comment share and subscribe thank you